Tata Advanced Systems Limited, TSL, has unveiled the first image of the C-295 transport aircraft under assembly at its Vadodara facility, marking a key milestone in India's defense aviation. Under a rupees 21,935 crore deal with Airbus, 56 aircraft will replace the IAF's aging Avro fleet, 16 from Spain and 40 built in India. With high indigenization, MSME involvement, and an indigenous EW suite, the C-295 will boost India's aerospace ecosystem and Atmanirbhar Bharat goals. The Indian Air Force has strengthened its fighter jets' electronic warfare systems by adding the seeker signatures of China's PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile, using electronic intelligence and analysis of recovered PL-15 missiles. The IF can now better detect, jam, and evade this advanced threat. The upgrade boosts situational awareness and defensive tactics, ensuring Indian aircraft remain effective and protected against modern missile challenges, especially along the northern and eastern borders. HAL Chief Dr. D.K. Sunil confirmed that the second batch of 97 Tejas MK-1A jets will feature DRDO's upgraded Utam ASA radar with gallium nitride base modules starting post-2027. This marks a leap over the earlier gallium arsenide version, offering longer detection ranges of 150 plus kilometers, stronger resistance to jamming, and better power efficiency. The gallium nitride radar will boost Tejas's multi-role combat capabilities, improve interoperability with IF platforms, and lay the foundation for future fighters like Tejas MK2 and the MCA. The Indian Air Force is upgrading over 220 Mi-17 helicopters with advanced electronic warfare suites under a Rs. 2385 core program signed with Bard Electronics Limited. The upgrades include radar and missile warning systems, countermeasures, modern navigation aids, and IFF capability. Older MI-17s will also be modernized, while indigenous rotor blades are being developed to replace expiring Russian supplies. These upgrades will boost survivability, navigation, and mission effectiveness, ensuring MI-17s remain vital for military and disaster relief operations. Godridge Aerospace has delivered the first production standard Kaveri derivative engine, D1, to DRDO's gas turbine research establishment, marking a major step in India's indigenous aero engine development. Built with partners like HAL, Midhani, Tata and BHL, the modular D1 will undergo rigorous testing for thrust, endurance and reliability. Future D-series engines will evolve through 2027 with advanced trials aiming to support UAVs, auxiliary units, and potentially India's next-gen AMCA fighter, reinforcing Atmanirbhar Bharat goals. The IF is studying wing-mounted drones, launched from fighters such as Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, Tejas, to act as low-cost anti-UAV interceptors. These AI-enabled drones would chase and neutralize hostile drones, up to 20 to 35 kilometers away, using nets, small warheads, or jammers. Much cheaper than million-dollar missiles, they could work in swarms, operate in GPS-denied environments, and preserve expensive missile stocks, offering a scalable, cost-effective counter to the growing drone threat. To speed up India's aero engine development, DRDO's gas turbine research establishment has proposed using two IEF Su-30 MKI fighters as flying test beds. These aircraft, fitted with special instruments, will test and validate indigenous engine components under real flight conditions, reducing reliance on ground trials. The plan includes performance mapping, failure analysis, and phase testing to ensure safety and reliability. This move supports Atmanur Barbarat and advances programs like Tejas MK2 and AMCA. The Indian Navy is preparing a Rs 80,000 core tender 
to build four advanced landing platform docks, LPDs, marking one of the country's biggest warship projects. The Defense Ministry is expected to clear the proposal soon, with Indian shipyards like LNT, MDL, CSL and HSL competing alongside global partners such as Navantia Naval Group and Fincantieri. These floating bases will carry troops, vehicles and drones, while serving as command hubs with strong defensive and offensive systems. Designed under the Make in India push, the project aims to boost amphibious warfare capabilities, create jobs, and strengthen India's naval edge in the Indian Ocean. French aerospace firm Safran has proposed producing engines in India for the Tejas MK2 fighter jet, offering two options, the M884, with 95 to 105 kilonewton thrust, and a 120 kilonewton variant for AMCA. While Safran's M88 T-Rex, with 88 to 90 kilonewton, is seen as underpowered, compared to GE's 98 kilonewton F414, the M884 could be a closer fit. Safran promises extensive transfer of technology and local manufacturing, aligning with India's self-reliance goals. However, switching engines could delay timelines. India faces a strategic choice between GE's proven F414 and Safran's transfer of technology heavy offer, amid concerns over U.S. supply chain reliability. House Chief revealed that India is negotiating with GE Aerospace for F-414 engines to power future fighter jets, like the AMCA. The government of India has set a target of 80% transfer of technology to strengthen self-reliance in defense manufacturing. While most components are owned by GE, some belong to third parties, and HAL is working with GE to bridge these gaps. Six negotiation rounds are complete with further talks planned in the U.S. this October. The deal is seen as crucial to boosting India's engine production, maintenance and reducing foreign dependency. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.